everyone. I welcome you all to today's Info Byte session. In this session today, we have news coming in from international relations, science and technology, economy and polity perspectives. So without further ado, let's begin with this quick current affair updation series from international relations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is going to attend the state funeral of former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in Tokyo today. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar has met U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd J. Austin in Washington. President Vladimir Putin has granted Russian citizenship to former U.S. security contractor Edward Snowden. News coming in from Philippines regarding Typhoon Noru. Ahead of Typhoon Noru, thousands of people have been evacuated in the country. 13 people have been killed in shooting at a school in the city of Ezevisk in central part of Russia. Over-reliance on ready-made garments, exports and protective tariff regime is coming up with challenge for Bangladesh's growth sustainability says World Bank. From science and technology perspectives, President Draupadi Murmu is going to inaugurate Integrated Cryogenic Engines Manufacturing Facility of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited in Bengaluru today. NASA's DART spacecraft has successfully crashed into asteroid Dimorphos. Under the economy section, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman is going to review performance of credit and other welfare schemes for scheduled castes in public sector banks in New Delhi. Foreign Trade Policy 2015-20 has been extended for further period of six months. Food grain production of 149.92 million tons is estimated in this Kharif season for 2022-23, says Union Minister Narendra Singh Tomar. Under the Polity section, the news is that Supreme Court is going to start live streaming of the proceedings of Constitution benches from today. This is it in today's Infobyte session. I shall see you again with another such session tomorrow. Till then, take care. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining in.